Hey guys, I'm a fish guy here today. I'm going to be going over one of the more popular species of fish and one of my more favorite ones, especially when it comes to selling and reproducing and just genetics in general. That's going to be the guppy. So it's one of the most popular and vibrant freshwater fish. And today I'm going to cover everything you need to know about caring for guppies and how to breed them successfully in a tank or stay tuned and I'll do what I use best for breeding guppies and getting the best results. So first off, when it comes to the tank setup, guppies are pretty adaptable. Um, we all know that whether you've been the hobby for six months or six years, you've probably had a guppy at one point in time. They thrive in a tank that's at least 10 gallons, but the bigger the better when it comes to it. And with guppies, usually you want to keep it one male to three to five females. Uh, that way, if there's any bullying or picking or overbreeding, anything like that, the females can kind of get a break. And lots of hiding spots are definitely a good thing. So, like I said, a larger tank is even better to ensure that they have space to swim and basically get away from the male. So make sure you're using water conditioner to remove any of the harmful chemicals from your tap water. Uh, especially nowadays, you never know what's in the tap water. And they prefer a temperature about 72 to 82 degrees. Uh, I usually have better luck in the 78 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. So a heater is crucial. If you don't have a good heater and the water's fluctuating in temperatures, you're just going to have problems. So when it comes to the pH of the water, they're really not too picky. Anywhere is between 7 and 8 for the pH. Um, ammonia and nitrate and nitrite, you want to keep those as low as possible, especially the ammonia and nitrite. You want to try to keep those at zero. Uh, the nitrate, you really should try to do it under 20 ppm. So when it comes to feeding guppies, these guys will pretty much eat anything that fits in their mouth. Uh, so whether it's frozen brine shrimp, bloodworms, flake, flu flake foods, pellets, um, live foods even, they'll eat it all. So now when it comes to breeding, guppies are live bears, which this is the coolest part about these guys. They give birth to free swimming fry, so they don't have to lay eggs, anything like that. So pretty much if you have a male and a female, most likely every 30 to 32 days, you're going to have babies being born into the tank. So if you don't see any, look towards the bottom. Usually they kind of cram themselves into the corner into like a gap or a space in the gravel. That way they can hide before they're eaten. So when it comes to sexing these guys, it's pretty simple. So the males are usually going to be more colorful. They're going to have longer fins. And the females are going to be less color. They're going to have a gravid spot, which is that black or pink spot at the back of their belly. And also when it comes to the anal fin on your males, it's going to be more of like a rod shape. Um, whereas the females, it's going to look like a normal fin. So the other cool part about these guys, if you look at that gravid spot on the female, if she's been bred, you can look and see sometimes you can see eyeballs, usually probably one to four days before she's about to give birth. So there's two different ways that you can ensure survival. The first one is going to be a breeding box. You can buy these pretty much at any pet store. And it's just another net box that goes inside of the aquarium. That way the female can go in there, give birth, and then you scoop her out once she's done. So the other way that I do it is I take a ton of java moss, throw it in a tank, and let the baby survive off of that. Um, they can swim into it. The females can get out of the way of the males. The babies can get out of the way of all the adult fish. And the java moss is just amazing for survival. I've had much better survival rates when it comes to using java moss versus the breeding nets. Because of the problem with the breeding nets is even if you're not home or anything like that, they're going to give birth. And if you don't get that female out, she's going to start eating them pretty much as soon as she gives birth. So when it comes to the newborn guppies or fry, anything micro food. So the, what I use for the first couple of weeks is I take a pellet food and a flake food and take a rolling pin and crush it up into a fine powder. And then they're going to eat that until they're big enough to get some like the baby brine shrimp. So when it comes to doing water changes, 10 or 20% water changes every week um, can ensure good quality. But I've gotten to the point where I do probably 40 to 50% once a month, and I've still been fine with that. <clears throat> so that's pretty much it when it comes to guppies. But the one thing I want to share with you is how I'm successful in breeding these guys in the past. If you get a stock tank, you go to Tractor Supply, get a stock tank that's like 50 to 100 gallons, you put 
three to five males with about 15 to 20 females to start. And then you put a ton of java moss and a light over that java moss so it keeps spreading and multiplying and just let them go for months. And at that point, you're going to have so many guppies. Uh, so one time I did this, that was my most successful time. So I started with the 20. I had uh, six male and 14 female. By the time I was done, I had 210 guppies on a four and a half month period. Uh, and because of the large water volume and I was doing the water changes, they were packing on size pretty quick. So just a little tidbit, so that way you can kind of get an idea. Um, I had good luck in the fish tanks, but like I said, the stock tanks were just a much bigger volume of water, and they're just a lot easier to maintain that way. So hope that helps you guys care for guppies and breed them. Um, usually when you're breeding them, there's a pretty good market anywhere you go. If you go to local fish stores or just your local fish shows or auctions, anything like that, you can usually get a pretty decent amount of money for them. Um, usually I'm getting about $1.75 to $2.50 a guppy for the males. Usually the females I'll package up into a deal like 50 cents to a dollar each, uh, unless you buy a big large amount of them. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any recommendations on the next video I should do, please comment down below.